Good morning. Good evening, stamping friends. This is Jenny from Celebrate the Journey. I almost said good morning. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's okay. So it, it's actually Wednesday night. It's not even morning. So uh, maybe I just wish it was morning. So I don't want to start the day over again. That's too much, isn't it? So um, we're right in the middle of celebration. We're over halfway because it lasts two months and this is the second month. So I thought I would um, share um, some celebration ideas with you tonight. Now yesterday they released some new uh, celebration items that you can get free with the purchase. So if these might interest you more than the ones that were in the catalog. So the timber embossing folder, the um, dies that match flowers of home. Uh, I think it's called the Blessings of Home stamp set. I'm not real sure. Silver paper and brushed metallic paper. Uh, the gingham embossing folder, which I dearly love. The dots and spots die. The daffodil dies that go with um, the pretty daffodil stamp. The Seashells 3D Embossing Folder, and the Craft Gift Boxes, and the dies that match um, one in the mini catalog that's um, birds. It's called Aspen, something with Aspen, and so this is really a pretty die. So you can get those free with the purchase. And then, of course, there's still some things left in the catalog. Um, of course, they're not guaranteed. Everything is while supplies last. So this one, you could get the hippo stamps and the dies. So if you had $100, you'd get both. These are so cute, these dies. They cut out the hippo and some extras. Um, the pool party, oops, I'm sorry, I missed a page. The DSP here is already sold out. But if you've been wanting it, wait, because we're going to have a class with it. No, actually, it's back in stock. I shouldn't say that. It's back in stock, but probably not, but for another week. Um, because it, it's pretty iffy here. I don't know. The pool party envelopes are sold out. But the stylish sketches is still available. This makes really cool note cards. Uh, the silver and gold DSP is still available. Um, this amazing phrasing. This is really cute. Amazing. Woohoo to another year around the sun. It's going to be amazing. Um, I, all kinds of nice sentiments. And then the dies for the tree lots are sold out. Those were very, very popular. And then this beautiful wonderful world is still in stock and I think you'll enjoy if you were to get that you would really love it you get the paper and the stamp set and it's very very pretty so lots of things to choose from now you might think well I don't need to shop this month but I really would like some free things you know what I ordered yesterday it was like five packs of white paper that's all I wanted. And so I thought, well, I can always use that. And then I got the dots and spots die because I wanted that before it sold out. So there's always, you can always stock up on envelopes or um, thick, basic white cardstock or thick, very vanilla. And then you'll have enough for all year. So that's That's the way I do when I'm trying to conserve my money and I don't need another stamp set but I sure would like some of this free stuff you know how that goes so we're going to use two stamps two free celebration things tonight we're going to use amazing phrasing and the hippiest hippos I think these hippos are so funny and I had really just not paid much attention to this stamp set when I got it a couple weeks ago. 
So I got it out now because I thought, oh, it's perfect for hinge stamping with the Stamparatus. So we're going to practice some hinge stamping. If you don't own a Stamparatus, maybe this will convince you that's what you need. I just have four inch by five and a quarter, and I've drawn a line there so I know where I want to put this. And when I was playing around with this and wanting to do the hinge step, I realized that if I started at the bottom first, then I did better of lining it up. So what you need to do is line up your stamp where you want it to, to be on your card, and then you put the plate down and pick up the stamp. So I kind of, you know, did that. But I started at the bottom to work my way up when I was playing with it. It's not hard. And use a piece of scrap paper to do your practicing. So we're going to do woohoo on our card here. I think I need another piece of washi tape. Now these are... Um, photopolymer stamps so that means you need the foam uh, piece underneath your paper and you'll get a better because it needs that foam it needs that better uh, squishiness there to get a good image but the great thing about the Stamparatus is if, even if you don't get a good image, you can stamp it again. That's what's the magic of the Stamparatus. Because it really is kind of magical. Because it's, it's hard to stamp. For me, it's hard to stamp a good image. See that W? It didn't come out super good, so we'll just ink it up again. Hold our breath and make sure this does, our paper doesn't move. You don't want your paper to move. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to pick this up. We're going to bring it down one step. Ink it up again. I'm sorry, I know the light bounces off this plastic, but we'll get rid of it pretty soon. Okay, now I want to leave this space blank, so I'm going to come down two block hops on my hinge. I like the way that since I inked that first one, it's darker. Kind of gives you a little ombre looking here. I can see that didn't get very inky. Let's see. Hey, Karen. Yeah. Hey, Leanne and Gay, it's good to see you guys. Let's see, we want to straighten this up a little bit. There we go. Let's hope that. And we'll hinge step one more time. So if you're here tonight, leave me a message or a thumbs up so I'll know you were watching. Or if you're watching on replay, I'd love to hear from you. That W seems to just be a, a booger, doesn't it? I don't want to ink up good. Might need to rub these on my blue jeans. You know when your stamps don't want to ink up good, if you rub them on a pair of blue jeans or something a little rough. 
That might help. We'll do that. Now it's the exclamation point. Let's see, like I said, this is magical. You can stamp twice. You just can't do that with a block. There we go. Now we're going to take this out because we need an, um, something to go there. So this is what we'll do. We'll move that right about there. We're going to clean our stamp off with the chamois. Now chamois or a baby wipe, but you don't want lint. To get on your stamp so something that won't leave lint behind and now we need a piece of scrap well hmm that looks about right that'll work just put a little, we don't need to worry about this one quite so much, but we want it, we don't want it to move either. We're going to stamp this with polished pink. You know, I'm really into bright colors this week. Maybe, uh, maybe next week I'll get more subtle. Probably not. We can do that one twice. There we go. And we'll, we'll go ahead and wipe this off while we can. Now this with the, the O's, the ink wants to pool up in there, so you want to get that out good. So the next time you use it, it won't leave residue on your image. I don't want to touch this with my inky fingers. There we go. Looks like I need some baby wipes. <laughs> I could have used my magnets, but they didn't seem to be, this was a really sticky uh, stamp and it kept pulling the paper up. So washi tape works just fine. And we want to give this some 3D look. So we're going to fussy cut this. This kind of not too worrisome about each letter. Just give it a nice kind of rounded look here. Sorry, my mind is kind of wandering about other things here. <laughs> do you do that while you're stamping? You think of lots of other, I do, lots of other things. But I am thinking about you guys, so that's quite all. Don't feel bad. So today was our errands day. We went to Weight Watchers and Costco, went to see the kids. We haven't seen them since late May, I think. 
Well, no, we did finally get to see them June, late June for Father's Day, but that was it. We haven't seen them much this summer. I guess everybody's been busy. So it was fun to see our family. You'd think we live too far apart, but it's not that bad. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put this on with the dimensionals because that'll give it a little variety. And then we'll get busy on those hippos. You remember, you know, we were talking last night at our team meeting. We've had hippos, we've had pigs, we've had goats, we've had meerkats. The meerkat or surrogate is a small mole found in southern Oh, Africa. do you hear Alexa? It's characterized by a broad head. Large eyes, a pointed snout, long legs, a thin tapering tail, and a brindled coat pattern. The head and body length is around 24 to 35 centimeters, and the weight is typically between 0 0.62 and 0 0.97 kilograms. Is that great? Did you learn learn all about those cats? I don't want to say that word again. She'll start talking. Holy moly. I guess I should turn her down during Facebook Lives. Maybe she'll tell us all about hippos if we... So we're going to stamp some hippos and color them. I'm afraid to talk about anything now because she might start blabbing. She might be eavesdropping on us. I don't know if this one's going to make it on. No, we need another one. I saw where somebody, um, I think they colored their hippos pink and purple, which was kind of not a novel idea, but I'm just going to go boring gray our smoky slate. It'll be all right. So we're going to use smoky slate and some colors to dress them up. Well, when I was, I think I need a new smoky slate marker. Kind of frayed around the edges. So last night we had our team meeting on Zoom because we're all over the country. It's kind of hard to get together face to face. It was fun. So see, even if you don't live in Colorado, you can be a member of my team and we would love to have you. So if you join during celebration, you get a free planner um, which is, uh, I've heard it's a pretty planner. I haven't seen one, though. I think I can do both of these at the same time if I don't talk too much. Um, I actually want to do his little, this one's little belly. Go back and do the edges with a fine point. Mm. Sometimes these are so hard to open. There we go. 
just keep pulling if you have a lot of trouble with it I bet those one of those jar openers would help to get a good grip on it okay so we want to do this little girl I guess she's a girl she's got on a skirt We'll do her little snout. I have seen where people did the snout um, kind of a flesh color. And that would be okay. And then I've seen where they did these in black and white and made them look like cows. I'm not real sure they look like cows. But it's a possibility. Do her little legs a little lighter color. And then I think the rest will do in dark, smoky slate. So let me see if you guys are chatting here because I can't. I forgot that I was going to start using my phone to monitor Facebook and I'll try to remember I'll write myself a note yes that Alexa she can do just any she thinks she can do anything I don't know that she's always that smart and I've told her that before and then she tells me I'm not very nice have you ever it's like I'm talking back to a machine. So don't talk ugly to her. She'll reprimand you. Oops, wrong one. No, we'll color him with the darker color. I don't know. This could be a girl, too, but I think it's... I'm pretending one's a boy and one's a girl. Now, if you didn't get the dyes, you could fussy cut these little creatures, but the dyes sure do help. Especially if you don't like fussy cutting. I don't, I don't mind. The other night I took that whole sheet of wonderful world flowers and fussy cut them while I was watching TV, but I haven't made a card with them yet. But I have a big stack of pretty little flowers all cut out. And there's our little hippos. Oh, now this little... I forgot part of her, so we'll have to go back and do that, and then I need to do her tutu. And I decided they needed pink colored fingernails. They're going to get a manicure. So they have pretty fingernails. Uh, hi, uh, Vicki. Thanks for joining us tonight. Okay, let's see. I think I'll do her fingernails pink. And 
I'm going to do the tutu of Highland Heather. Yeah, I might have to put some Wink of Stella on this. Make it be a sparkly tutu. I'm going to do light Highland Heather for her ballet shoes. Can't really see much difference, but just a little. And let's see, I think I'm going to do his fingernails in blue, Tahitian Tide. <laughs> you know, when Pool Party first came out, I took my Pool Party to the nail salon and got Pool Party fingernails and toenails. I think I'd do Tahitian Tide now. Except I quit doing colors. Oh, but if I did, I'll probably take my Stampin' Up! color and pick something close. And I think we'll use the purple again for our flower. Kind of bring that color in. And once we cut this out, we'll be just about through with our card, which is great. So we'll put, these both have these cool dies, and we can run those through the cut and emboss machine. feel more secure with that post-it note holding them in place. And even then sometimes they still move <laughs> when I'm not looking. They jump around. There's our sweet little ballerinas. And we'll put them on our card. I do need to put a little bit of Wink of Stella on her, just because I can. If I had a little two-year-old granddaughter or something, this would be a card. Oh, I don't know. They could be in high school, too. Oh, oh my God. Don't let me forget the inside. I, I do that a lot. Oh, and one more thing. There's this sweet little umbrella die. So we're going to cut an umbrella out of glimmer paper. She needs that. And 
You're always going to have a little shine on your card. Now, once we put the put her on there, we can figure out where we're going to put the umbrella. She's dancing there. I'm going to put that on with the dimensional. This little handle will just slide under there and. It'll be fairly safe. Isn't that cute? Oh, that one doesn't want to come off. My goodness. I know I have some bling that looks like little flowers, but I couldn't find them. Maybe I have too much stuff. So I just pulled out some sequins. They're just old, but they were the right colors. And everybody has sequins, I think. So we'll just put some glitter on our card. Put some out there to find the right color. This is like Bermuda Bay color. You could even put um, a little pearl. I think these you could layer. But then they might not mail so good. Just a little bling is all we need. Oh, when I see these sequins, maybe I need to do a shaker card. That could be something for the next couple days to keep in mind. Now, I did pull out um, your Every Bit of Wonderful from Celebrate You. I think it's Celebrating You stamp set. So we'll put that on the inside. I do need to stamp it and make sure it's on there fairly straight. I'm going to use the pink, the polished pink again. No, I think that's pretty good. Uh, could be worse. Could be better. If I mess up, I can cover it up. There we go. And I don't think that there's a little... Oh, I need to maybe find a little flower or something to go down there. But there's our card made with two celebration products. So if you're trying to figure out what you want, you know, don't overlook these because they're really kind of cute. And you can always use just parts of these words. You could change that to I did it, <laughs> you did it, um, anything. You, these are, or you can cut them apart and spell other words. Like whoop. Whoop. You can change 
all kinds of fun things with these. So thanks for joining me today or tonight. And I'll see you again on Facebook sometime soon. Good night.